I think everybody is a little bit selfish and on a really, really, really surface level. And what I mean by that is, is nobody wants to move their charger for you. As special as you think you are, everybody says, yeah, just plug it in over there. Well, let me just bring it in here. Everybody's going to be like, man, I don't want to move my charger, dude. Because like, this is what happens when you move your charger. You know, you move your charger for someone and they're like, all right, I'm just going to bring it up here. And then you say, okay, put it back. And then they never do. And then your phone charges upstairs in the middle of the night and like your phone's at 10%. And you lay down and not, you lay down and trying to plug in your phone and it's not in there. And you just go, and you just tough it out. You don't even charge your phone that night because you're too lazy to get up. And we're all, you know, that's why we're a little bit selfish every day. Or every time somebody asks to, you know, use it, it's like, bring your own charger or just charge it where their charger is. You know, but if somebody asks me like, hey, can I bring it to the, like, the next room over? I'm like, fine, you know. But if it's like upstairs, I'm like, oh, man, I don't forget it up there now, you know. You're kind of like stressed out a little bit worrying about your charger. Why is that? Why are we worried so much about a fucking charger? You know, like, get over it. It's not going to... It's it's going to be there tomorrow. And I never really understood the whole, like, oh, where, well, how are you not going to know where it is? I don't know. Anyways, welcome to DJP78. Today is Saturday, 2.28 p.m. Or it's Saturday, uh, March 6, 2021. 2:28 p.m. I should have done that. I mixed it up a little bit, but yes, it is a Saturday. So most for most of you it is a weekend. And that's awesome, man. You know, the weekdays the weekdays over. You don't got to worry about it no more. It's the weekend. So what are you going to do? Um you could be driving somewhere, could be folding some clothes, man. I know I listen to most of my podcasts when I'm walking or folding clothes. I was trying to time myself actually folding clothes yesterday. So I had, um, and what song did I have playing? Oh, I had the new Bruno Mars song playing, the Bruno Mars and um, Anderson Pack song playing. Um, and I was trying to beat that song by folding my clothes. It was kind of a small load. It was mostly towels. And, you know, towels are kind of simple to fold. You know, the thing is with towels is a lot of people will say, yeah, I'll fold the laundry on the towel load, the easiest load, you know? The towel load, you don't got to say, hey, how do you fold this or... Hey, um, do you hang these up, you know, full, you know, towels, you fold them one way and you're good. But we all know one person who will nominate themselves to do the loads only for the towels. I, you know, and to be honest, there's some times where I've said, yeah, I'll do the towel load. I'm not, you know, innocent. My mom would say, yeah, you got to fold the towels. And I'd be like, and I'd act like it was a big deal. Like, oh man, but really the towels are the best one. Because, you know, like, I'll be honest, like, when I was living with my mom and brother, my mom would have her bras and her skirts or whatever, and I wouldn't know how to fold some women clothing. I wouldn't. Or even, like, my girlfriend's laundry, too. I don't know how to fold girl clothing. You know, like, bras, I think you just kind of, like, put one of the things on one of them, and you're good. But, like, guys, it's easy. Like, I have sweatshirts, I have shirts, and I have, I don't know, everything's just easy. They have, like, tights that are hard to fold and, you know, little tiny socks. And I don't know. Maybe they think, I don't know. But I think sometimes girl clothes are a little, they're a little hard to fold for me. And that's, that's okay. But, yeah, so towels, you don't have to worry about that. And that's the one thing I like about it. Anyways, so before we get all into it, remember we got to get right into that ETG dream, man. ETG, man, we got to give him a listen. Anyways, after the intro of the song, we will be getting into the episode. Thank you guys so much for being here, and let's get it going. Please don't let me down, down. I've been gone for a while, you've been tripping. Late night on my phone, I've been sipping. Got me up too late, baby, I am just trying to sleep. I'm just trying to sleep. Would you love me in my dreams? I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to forget all my problems. 
cause I'm done Everybody watching when they look at what I might be I just wanna call my mama, tell her I'm the one Nothing she ain't know, got my angels right by me Yeah, got my guidance I'm just trying to sleep so I can fly in Baby, take my hand, know that I'm the pilot I've been waiting just to show you Go and tell me if you like so it So let me down, down I've been gone for a while, you been tripping Late night on my phone, I've been sipping Got me up too late, baby, I'm just trying to sleep I'm just trying to sleep Would you love me in my dreams? I'm just trying to see Sleeping, they ain't gon' notice me Think I live for the week and my mind is weakening Need a smoke break and two shots of whatever Multiply the two until they both surrender And now I'm better than ever like I got a cuties watching Like Rollis watching the Cuban night I'm demise of watering I'm drowning I'm hoping the world ain't pleased I'm underground I'm drowning I need a hand so Please don't let me down now. I've been gone for a while You've been tripping Late night on my phone, I've been sipping. Got me up too late, baby. I'm just trying to sleep. I'm just trying to sleep. Would you love me in my dreams? I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to. ETG Dream Man, remember you can listen to it on Spotify, and I think it's on Apple too. You can listen to it on SoundCloud, dude. Alex and I, you know, we go way back, man. It's a couple years ago. That's considered way back now. You know, a couple years ago, you meet someone a couple years ago. That's your way back then. So, I've been. Uh, I went to the gym today before the recording, and I was. I am glad I went before. You know, to start recording, I just feel in a better, like I'm in a better mood. And I think a lot of people are in a better mood after they go to the gym as well. But I've been picking at my calluses on my hand, and that's just, I don't know if that's gross, but I've been doing it. And it's just kind of addicting. Like, And the thing is, is I don't really want to wear like the gloves either. If you could kind of see, you know, the hand, it's just it's just fine, but it's just kind of a nuisance to me. Um, but anyways, you know, that's, that's all I got to really say about calluses. And nothing really happened at the gym, you know, no, nobody really had, there's nothing really funny going on. Um, they recently just opened up the locker rooms so you could shower after the gym, which is, I'm a person who likes to go and shower at the gym and just get it all done. The, I, the reason I started getting into that was because back home at our YMCA, we have a sauna. So what I would do is I would go play basketball, I'd go work out, go in the sauna, and then I'd be all sweaty. And then I would just shower, put my clean clothes on. It was almost like a perfect system. So I just took that, and I, I've been kind of adopting it into other gyms, but they don't have saunas, so it's kind of a big bummer. They also just reopened the hot tub, but it's only for 15 minutes. you got to make reservations, which is fine. Making a reservation and like used to be a problem before COVID. Now it's no big deal. Like I'll I'll make a reservation everywhere I go now. So that's one thing we could thank it for. I guess it's it's made us make reservations for things. You know, a lot of people would go to dinner, you know, dinner dates with their significant others and forget to make a reservation. But now with COVID, you can't forget that. So that erases that problem. You know. I know a lot of people who'd get in trouble by that. I'm like, oh, yeah, man, I took my girlfriend out and I forgot to make the reservation. I'm like, oh, fuck. Well, now don't got to worry about it, my friend. So it's just uh, reservations. It's just not a thing. It's not a worry no more, I should say. And I just, you know, it's not a worry to me now or you. So what else what what's going on, you know, in the world today? You know, what's what happened this week? Um I went to class actually and 
the school where I go to or the class that I'm in, we had presentations and we've been busy. And my teacher was like, oh, you guys know what? We haven't had a writing assignment in a long, like a long time, which is like a week in a while. So let's have a two page paper due tomorrow at midnight. Um, it's like an intense, like analysis paper too. So it's like those two pages aren't the two pages. Like you're like, Oh, Dom, it's, it's two pages. Come on, bro. It's not that big of a deal. Is it that hard for you to get out a piece of, you know, get on your computer and type a couple things? Come on. No, it's like two pages, single spaced formatted in like a health field thing. And it's just annoying. And I am a person who did say like, like 10 episodes back, school is easy. And it is, but it's just time consuming. And that just took a time that I could be spending with the people on here. You know? People talking to people, making clips, you know? That's that's what I want to do. So it's taking time from that. It's taking time from gaming for sure. You know. Oh, I still need to see the new WandaVision. Oh, the new WandaVision looks good too. I haven't seen the finale. And I'm waiting to watch it with my girlfriend. And damn, dude, I got to stay off social media. People be ruining shit. You know, you'll be like you're on the season finale. You couldn't watch it because you have work or something. And then someone's going to spoil it. Don't spoil shit for me, bro. If you're on Twitter, put spoilers if you're going to say a spoiler. And there's no point to even tweet a spoiler because no one wants to see your spoiler. Even with the spoiler alert. Dude, I I went to um, the movie theaters one time for um, Avengers Endgame. And I went in with my buddies Thomas, Brian, and Nate. And we all were standing in line outside waiting for Endgame. And the guy walks out. This college kid, he's like my age. And he was like, oh my god, I can't believe Spider-Man came back. And everyone was just like, aww. You know, like this guy totally ruined it, dude. But dude, there was guys in front of us that had headphones on. And I was kind of skeptical, like, why has this guy got his headphones on? But he was a smart man. He had his headphones on because he knew some douche would come around and spoil it after, and he was not having it. So he had his music playing full blast. He probably had the Avengers theme song going, you know? And that was, you know, there's a lot of people who are smart. You know, there's a lot of people who cure cancer. There's a lot of people who, you know, like uh, snow plow the roads when it's snowy, or there's like the garbage truck guys. But then there's that guy. That guy, is a he's smart, man. And a lot of people would be like, oh, did you just lump garbage truck guys into that, you know, smart people? Yes, I did, dude. Garbage guys are fucking smart, man. They got to deal with all this shit. Garbage. Dude. Come on, man. If I was if I was fucking dealing with garbage all day, you have to be smart. Somewhat. I don't care if people want to shit on garbage men because that's, that's not cool, dude. They're the ones dealing with all that bullshit. You want to go fucking do all that? Then don't. But don't make it their problem. Um, I always see those like videos of kids like that love garbage men, like little kids. And they'll be like, Mom, look, I made these for the garbage men. And then they like show it to them. And they think the garbage trucks are so cool because they think it's like a transformer or something. And the garbage guys are always super cool. Garbage guys are pretty dope. I'll, I got to give that to them. You know? Um, you know, gar- yeah, I was actually just sitting here thinking about back then too. And I was thinking about when I was in high school, everybody wants to make a buck somehow, right? You know, you're someone's selling hot Cheetos for $3 a bag, or maybe you got people selling gum. You got, uh, what else is going on? You got people, uh, selling weed you know that that happens you know what else you got people selling uh russian candy um which are basically just zots if you guys ever want to know what russian candies are those are they're just zots um so basically what happened is i was like i want to make 
some money. So I bought um, a whole bunch of chargers on Amazon. And <laughs> me and my buddy Arjun, Arjun at the time, we were just, um, we he, he was like, I'll do it with you. Because I used to pick him up for school. Even though he lived like right next to the school, I don't know why he drove with me. He literally wa- He literally lived within like walking distance and he, I'd still pick him up. So I picked him up and I told him about the business and he was like, yeah, let's do it. And then I, I bought all the chargers and he said he would, um, he would try to help me. And I was like, all right, cool. And I was like, basically like the head guy. So I went to the library and then I printed off, um, it's like, I, it's like something kind of like cringy. It was like, is your phone dead? And I put like a, like a dead phone cartoon and I was like, you need a charger. And I walked around this neighborhood and I put them on people's cars, like these flyers on cars. And some guy's like, Hey, what are you putting on my car? And I was just like, bro, we're just selling chargers. You know, you need one. He's like, I have an Android. I don't need one of those. And I was like, damn, I need to get into the Android field too. You know, a lot of people would be like all scared about like all this old man's yelling at me, but I was like, damn, I need to, he's right. I need to be getting more chargers. So I bought some more and, um, I gave the chargers away. Um, my buddy Gavin bought one who's been on the show. Um, a couple people bought some and, uh, they all broke within like a couple days. And everyone's like, what the hell, Dom? You gave me a bad charger. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, ah, fuck. So I was, that was like my first, you know, other than like a lemonade stand, I did have one of those and dude, those, you got to give the kid a 20, bro. You see a kid in a lemonade stand, give him a 20. Come on, dude. I don't care who you are. You see a kid doing that respect. Um, uh, I didn't really do anything other entrepreneurial things. I mean, I did Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, and I would trade for better cards to eventually get like a better one to trade up to get better stuff. So I did that. I was really obsessed with Yu-Gi-Oh cards, man. I really liked Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I I don't know what it was. I think it was that just everyone liked them. And then there was this like Yu-Gi-Oh game on the PS2. That was really fun. Um, oh man, that makes me want to play that game. Me and Rob played that all the time. And... Dude, we would play some fun games. And the PS2 had a lot of fun games for me. Ratchet and Clank was a really fun one. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, there were some SpongeBob games that were on there that were really fun too. Um, what's going on? Yeah, in the gaming world, you know, there's a lot of people who, you know, like, just because you have a PC doesn't mean I'm going to worship you as a console player. Just because you have a key, a keyboard and mouse doesn't make you superior in any way. Like, oh, well, uh, we're better than you and have better KD ratios. I don't care, dude. We're playing the same game. You know? You obviously have an advantage. That's, a, a, that's why you're better. You have a fucking mouse. That's why you're better. So quit thinking. If you were on the fucking con- both uh, controllers, that's even playing field. This is basically like, um, I don't want to, because I know there's some people out there who can compete with keyboard players and I've been in keyboard lobbies and I will still do pretty good. Um, but they just, they think all PC players think you got to just worship them because they have a PC. I'm not PC players make everything more difficult. You got to get an app. Oh, you got to get Discord. You got to get this to fucking talk to them. But when it used to just be Xbox Live, I'd invite you to party and we'd play. Now it's like, oh, well, you got to join my Discord. I can't fucking talk. My roommate has fucking Discord. And he makes it difficult. You know? Yes, I'm talking to you. Because I want to just play with my bros. And I don't want to have to download 15 other apps to play with a keyboard player. I just want to play. I just want to play Xbox with my friends. You know? 
That's that's the mood. And I don't want it to be difficult. I want everyone to have a mic. I want everyone to have online. I want everyone to have the same game. You know, I'm asking too much, I guess. Because before, we would all have Halo 3, and we'd all have our headsets, our cheap headsets, and our wired controllers, and we'd play. Or someone would come over, and all that. But then these PC things came in. Oh, well, I have Steam, so I'm going to, you know, all these games are cheap. And they never have the same game as you because they're too busy, like, buying these, like, $10 games that nobody else is going to play with them. (sighs) Yeah, man. So, yeah. If you're a PC player, I'm not worshiping you, man. You're just a gamer like everybody else. And I know that hurts to hear. But you're the same as a console player, man. You're just being extra. It's true. I mean, maybe maybe console players are extra. And a lot of people um, play games. Not just guys. Not just women. You know. Um, they. They play, you know. Um, people who identify as they. They also play. Um he, she, him, or, you know, her, him, his, and all, you know, the pronouns and stuff. Like, everybody plays them. I don't care who you are. It's dope. I've even seen some dogs play some video games. Oh, man. You guys remember going... (laughs) Oh, man. It's like... (sighs) Going to these Halloween stores... And you would just see the cringiest costumes. And I would just see these people wear like the most cringiest things I've ever seen. You know? And that's what Halloween is all about. Halloween is all about, you know, goofing around, dressing up as something. But I never understood spirit selling the Native American costumes. Or Pocahontas or things like this, right? The thing is that spirit constantly says is, well, we make money off the Native American costumes. That's really the only reason you haven't fucking gotten rid of them? You're telling me you don't make enough money off the fucking scream masks, off your fake blood, off your, you know, your your nurse fucking costumes? Well, we make the most money off the Native American costumes. What do you want us to do? Get rid of them. It's, that's it, that's it. Oh, well, how how are we going to make money? How are you going to make money? How is Spirit going to make money from getting rid of the Native American costumes? I don't even know. How, How will Spirit make money, guys? Hmm. Well, do they have any other costumes? Yes. Do they have any other masks? Yes. Do they have any other props or... Other things they can do. Yes. Do they sell candy? Yes. Do they sell necklaces? Yes. Do they sell glow-in-the-dark sticks? Yes. Do they sell silly foam? Yes. Do they sell decorations for haunted houses? Yes. That's how you'll make money, spirit. Well, we can't get rid of it because it's a really, really favorite. You know, people like it. Dude, I just don't get it. It's like the Redskins took a long time to change their name too because of the the money stuff. And I'm not trying to get into the whole mascot thing right now because that's a whole nother horse to, you know, get on a journey and go somewhere and then, you know, get mugged by some people and then, you know, you, you, you save the person and, you know, whatever. But it's like I never understood that. Their Their biggest reason is we make money. I wonder how you'll make more money. It's like going to the movie theater. Have you guys seen that Drake and Josh episode when you're like, when Drake goes in there and Josh is like, yeah, I just, I need like two hours and then I'm off work. And Drake's like, well, what am I going to do in the movie theater for two hours? And Josh just looks at him like, what do you mean? Go to a movie. You know, that's what it feels like. Well, how are we going to make money? <laughs> That's how a lot of people sound. Well, where's the money in it? 
money is just the i get why it's i get why people think about it and i get why it's a lot it's on you know on a lot of people's minds all the time because you could do a lot of things with it money brings options but if you've been getting hounded at for a long time now and it's just morally kind of wrong to be selling this stuff i don't get what the point is i really don't it's like i don't i don't you know, a lot of people on um, social media be talking about that. But a lot of people on social media be like, oh, I miss summer. It's going to be here. It's coming back. You don't got to worry about it. Like, just bring me back to summer. Well, like three more months and it's going to be here. So be a little more patient. You know, maybe find a different caption. Bring me back. No. I am looking forward to summer, though. I really am. I think a lot of people are. And maybe the world will start slowly opening back up. And, you know, because I, I heard that Louisiana and Texas are back without masks, I believe. Because it, it's, you know, too much to wear a mask. I, how dare we? How dare we ask them? But maybe, you know, with the vaccine over there, it's really helped them out to the point where they don't need those. So, um,. If so, that's good, you know. I've been in the process of looking for an animator for the show. For if you guys ever, if anybody knows an animator, let me know. I've been looking at NFTs. If you guys don't know what NFTs are, NFTs are non fungible tokens. So, um, a lot of people are going to be really turned off by this idea. So, what NFTs are is basically virtual art. And virtual art can be like animation. It can be just like a Photoshop illustration or it could be anything like that. And so if you guys look up CryptoPunks, CryptoPunks are a limited supply of NFT art. And they're just these pixel guys. And the lowest one to buy right now is $14,000 to get one of them. $14,000 to get one CryptoPunk. And, and it's just a virtual virtual thing <laughs> and people are buying them dude and it's going up and i think it's cool and i'm not telling you guys to go spend fourteen thousand dollars on it but i think it's a step towards virtual art and just seeing that it's it's slowly coming is really cool um there's also virtual if you guys have ever heard of NBA Top Shot, I am no expert on this, by the way. I am just like two hours of internet researching on it. So there's also NBA Top Shot. And what NBA Top Shot is, is like virtual trading cards, but they're moments. Like instead of a picture, it's like a dunk or it's like a crossover or it's a layup or, you know, it's someone screaming at someone. It's, it's cool. So basically, the NBA, NBA Top Shot is a place where you can get these packs and sell these moments and they're like a lebron one just sold for i don't know how much um i'm gonna look up nba top shot lebron dunk um the sporting the sports trading card boom baseball cards and nba top shot um collectors have spent more than 230 million on virtual moments on dapper labs nba top shot jeez and not just physical cards. In February, a highlight clip known as The Moment showing LeBron James Dunk sold for more, more than $200,000 via Top Shot. Damn. So what is it? How could you get into it? Um, basically, you get on, you sign up for like a Coinbase-type wallet, and you open packs. Good luck getting a pack right now because people are just fucking... They're $14 a pack, so you have... It's like gambling, and... Then it hits the market, and then you have these moments, and then you could sell them or whatever. And I think it's pretty cool. I like the virtual stuff because everybody likes trading cards. You know, trading cards, people like them. People like to to collect things. You know, they like to have it catch them all. That's why Pokemon's so good. It's why Madden Ultimate Team does so good. It's why sneakerheads are a thing. You know, they want to collect all the Jordans or they want to have a certain type of Jordan. It's the same concept, but it's artificial. And that's where a lot of people go, oh, well, I could just see that moment on YouTube. You're right. Yes, you can. But you could also buy fake Jordans. 
it's not the same thing, right? That's that's the thing. It's like, oh, well, the Mona Lisa is an actual physical piece. Yeah, but isn't there copies of it? Yeah. And couldn't you get just one of those? Yeah. But it's not the Mona Lisa, right? Yeah. Same argument here. Yeah, I can go screenshot one of those crypto punks and have them and but it's I'm not saying I want one at all, but I'm just saying that's these people's arguments for it. Believe me, man, if I could get a fourteen dollar pack of NBA Top Shot, I'll do that, but I'm not buying a fourteen thousand dollar fucking one of those things right now. If I was like a millionaire, fuck yeah. But I'm like uh I'm like a hundred in air, bro. Like, you know, that's that's my bracket right now. And I'm worrying on that. I'm worried about that bracket. I'm working about I'm worrying about groceries. I'm worried about paying my car payment. I'm not worried about that stuff, if that makes sense. Um, I just think they're really interesting. And I don't think they're gonna go anywhere anytime soon. I think this is the start of it. And I just um I'm really excited for what it has to what it's bringing to me and maybe one day I will sell NFTs like art you know that'd be cool and that's why I kind of want to get into animation not for the selling I just really think animation is really cool and I would love to talk to an animator or you know I tried to talk to one here on campus and they were kind of like well you gotta blame them they're kind of snobby and I was just like dude I'm just trying to like ask about your profession I'm not really like fanboying over you i'm just asking you know <sighs> kind of like you know when the heater's on and like it kind of makes the, the air a little harder to breathe a little bit i feel like that's what's going on or it's like stuffy i never understood that like, you, like the heater will like make the room stuffy is it because it like takes molecules I kind of want to look this up and pardon me for looking things up while you guys are on here. Um, when the heater is on, I can't breathe. Oh, look, there it is. I can't breathe when heater is on. Um, can heat make it difficult to breathe? Heat, humidity, and sudden changes in weather can make it harder to breathe and trigger symptoms such as shortness of breath, coughing, and wheezing. Huh. Oh, yeah, here. We'll do electric heaters because that's like real heat. Um can electric heaters cause breathing problems? Yes, it can cause suffocation. <laughs> this happens because the air heaters deplete the quanti- deplete the quantity of moisture present in the air and cause them cause the air to become dry. So the people who are already suffering from respiratory diseases can really feel suffocated and uneasy when these heaters are switched on. You guys hear that? That's like saying like yes. It is a it is a problem, you know. You gotta worry about that kind of shit. So if you you guys aren't alone now, <laughs> you know. If like now you know when the heater's on, it is actually difficult to breathe. And I'm here for it, and I'm here for you guys. And yeah. Um, what else is what else do I have kind of going on in life? Um, I was playing some Warzone, and I'm just losing of countless amount of kids like you know that meme where it's like I can't compete I can't compete with these kids anymore man I'm just trying to get on let some steam off on the video game and then it it feels like it my steam or my attitude gets worse because these kids are just godlike on these video games now it's like this streaming culture where everyone's like a god what happened to the time where I can just go and murk these kids and like I was the one having fun. Now it's like I get on and I'm just like, what's up? You know, I'm trying to play some games, you know, I'm good mood. It's nighttime, you know, maybe open a pop or something and I'm just getting shit on. And maybe that means I need to spend a little bit more time. Maybe that means something. Maybe it means I need to grind a little more, you know. And. Maybe it doesn't. But anyways, I don't know if you guys have heard about the app Clubhouse. And this is not an ad, by the way. I know it kind of sounds like an ad. Um, But I want to be on there. And I am on there. (laughs) But I want to start a 
Um, I want to meet twice a week on Clubhouse. So what we're going to do is I'm actually just going to say right now um, on Wednesdays, let's do Wednesdays at 4 o'clock. And then we'll do Saturdays at 7 o'clock. Or we'll do Mondays at a time too. I will make, I'll make a clip, but I really want to get involved on Clubhouse. If you guys haven't heard about it, Clubhouse is an app where you can get on and talk to people. And it's kind of like a voice room. You join in and you talk, you can have meetings, conferences. Um, what I think I'm going to have is like um, a comedy room where you can go and hang out and just laugh. And then I'll have a more serious one um, where we just hang out. If you have any questions or maybe I can help you with something. And then Mondays, I could maybe, um, we could do like, um, if you have any questions about the podcast, um, we can go from there. I just want to, you know, um, establish that and um, get Clubhouse going and help you guys all out with that. Um, if you guys haven't heard that new Bruno Mars song, by the way, too, that's a really good one. Um, go check it out. Anderson Pack and Bruno Mars. I think it's called Leave the Door Open. It's a, it's a good song. And, um, what else do we got here? So it's a, we were at 3410. I think that's what it says on here. Like my, I just started recording in audition. I used to po do my post work at audition. Now I'm doing it in here, but, um, let's see. Oh yes, yes, yes. I've been playing 2k. And I love playing 2K, and I love going to the park. Dude, why is it everybody is just unguardable in my park? If 2K spent maybe a fraction more on making my park a little bit better, I think it would be tremendously more people would play it. What I mean by that is if 2K put more money into creating better things for my park and non lag and like better, like better ways to combat builds instead of people just cheesing, you know, doing cheese moves, people would play it. And I know they make, they make some nerfs to builds and stuff, but dude, I know how we can make my park better. You could erase like the whole idea of walking around and just put us in games and, you know, you would just, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about, dude. Because I guess 2K has that. So people walk around and they see people's, like, outfits. And then they want to look cool and spend more money. So I get it. But they need to improve the gameplay a little bit more. But their, you know, their worry is make it. <sighs> making the merch and making the, you know, stuff so that people can wear them. I understand that. Um, oh, I listened to a round dance CD that I had. And the guy auto-tuned his voice for round dance. So for native music and peyote music. And it didn't sound that good, bro. I mean, I gave it a shot. I gave, I, I tried a couple tracks and I tried to listen and it didn't really capture me. You got to have that voice, man. 